Ladies and gents, welcome to the Ref Check. Today's car is very special. It's somewhat a prototype, but it's even more than that. The new Opel Manta GSE Electro mod. At Opel, GS stands for performance. Earlier models were called GSI or Grand Sport Injection. Now there's the new purely electric Manta, the GSE. As you can tell, we're inside and since COVID is still a thing, I need to wear that mask. But let's quickly talk about the car. As you can tell, this car looks very much like the old Manta. The first Manta hit the market in 1970 with engines ranging from 68 to 90 horsepower. It was Opel's answer to the successful Ford Capri and its stylish looks earned it lots of fans. But why does the new Manta look so similar to the old one? And the reason for that is it actually is a Manta. They took the body from an old Manta and only changed a few minor things in the front and in the back, but the rest is all original at least on the outside, but not under the hood. We decided to first put an electric pack in here, uh, upgrade also this digital visor. The car features a 147 horsepower electric motor. Yeah, as you can tell here in the front, this is unmistakably the new Opel visor, but it's even more than that because this one is fully digital and it can give you anything you want. It can show graphics and it can show text. It reminds you of the old Manta. The form of the front is the same as with the old Manta and that's where the Opel visor came from. Inside we've got the pure panel, which is literally the, the factory piece of the Mocha dash. Opel's pure panel integrates an infotainment touchscreen into the dash. By the way, the new Mocha was the first car to feature Opel's visor front, which integrates grille, headlights and badge into one module. The interior of the electric Manta prototype, like the rest of the car, is a fascinating mix of old original parts and the newest technology. Bucket seats add to the sporty retro flair. This little hole down here, this is where the electric Manta is charged. Now you might be wondering, why is it down there and not at the top? The reason for that is in the original Manta, it was there as well. So if you wanted to refuel your car, you had to do that down there. So I think it's pretty cool. The engineers decided to keep that little feature on the new Manta as well. With its 31 kilowatt hour battery, the Manta has a range of around 200 kilometers, but that wasn't the focus of this project. A nice little detail at the rear is the Manta lettering, just like it is on the new Opel Mokka. So, what about the electric Manta's future? You know that everybody is looking for SUV currently, and to just do a coupe, it will be really difficult also. But basically here, it's to really explore more than just building a new silhouette. It's to build new technology and new way of producing. One example, the updated Manta logo on the side with an integrated QR code. This logo can take you to a website with info about the car. And in the future, all new Opals will have a similar one. This project is really cool. I like it. My special highlight is the rear that looks futuristic, but somewhat old school as well. It is unclear whether a car like that will ever come onto the streets, but I would really appreciate that. It doesn't have to be a Manta, it would be if it's a car that is similar with an electric drivetrain, but for that we'll have to wait for the SUV boom to fall off. One positive sign, Opel was pleasantly surprised by the positive feedback this Manta has received. And its marketing people will evaluate whether a small series production could make sense in the future.